Okay, so in this section, what what's showing up, especially around the holidays, this can show up, um, and you may or may not be noticing this in your life, but I think it's something that everybody goes through, and um, and so I want to um, do something to help us all clear it, um, clear it. So so it's I'm calling it letting go of fear, anger, resentment, hurt, rage. And of course, those kind of things can show up, especially around the holidays. So you know how um, your thoughts and your emotions can sometimes just run wild. And you know, someone hurts you, someone really hurts you, um, especially the people close to you can do that. And you get that that itch, that thing to to lash out, to do something, to say something, to say something drastic, to burn bridges. You know, if you're rushing to conclusions, you're thinking thoughts, you're feeling big emotions, you're hurting. And you want to lash out and you want to hurt them and you want to make them know they are wrong and and to let them know they hurt you and it might be true and it could be a pattern that's been showing up forever you know for your whole life you know different versions of this and of course significant relationships can be the big thing and so you know that i that feeling of like you want to um, let them know how much they hurt you and it's 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 a it's a feeling of you want them to hurt you, but you sort of don't want it. It's like you want them to kind of come back, but it's like this awful awful place to be. And so what I what we've got, of course, with this is the peace process. So we have a, a way to take responsibility for when um, somebody pushes our buttons, even if it's um, absolutely true they did it on purpose. They've got their own stuff. And it's bumping right into you know our stuff, and um and it's like it's a thing, and so um so when that happens, part of what we can do is um keep some of our attention, of course, in our body and feel it completely because it can heal a lot of stuff. And what came to me today as we're starting this our atomic success secrets group today was that um, when these things happen, when these big hurts happen, when the, you know it was wrong, they did wrong, you're hurt. Um, it's 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 not your fault. It's it's their fault. It's like um, they need to know these things. They need to feel the pain that you're feeling. When these kind of things show up, um, yes, we we peace process and we we heal that stuff on the spot. And what feels like this is about is it's literally an addiction. It's our addiction. It's your addiction. And sometimes we're creating the drama. And other times people are doing and saying things and they're creating drama, but you're kind of like putting yourself in a, you see this in children all the time. They start creating drama for themselves and creating little accidents and they just rage and, and lose control. And then everything's a problem and, and, um, and then they fall. And then, and now it's another problem. And so it's like, we create drama and we, um, and we even have other people create drama for us because we need it. We absolutely need it because we're freaking addicted to it. We're addicted to it. It's, a, it's literally a molecule of molecules of emotion or coursing through our body. They're like drugs. They're like hormones. They are hormones. They are drugs. And so we're addicted to these feelings. And you think like, well, I don't, why would that be useful? Why would I be addicted to feeling bad? But it's because of what's happened over the years, of course, you know, before birth, um, at birth, generational stuff that's just kind of showing up over and over again. Your mom said this, your mom thought this, um, somebody did this, somebody thought of doing this, you feel stuff. It's like all this stuff starts to become a, a way that we're kind of used to. And so then this, um, this feeling, even if it's an awful feeling, it goes in with a lot of emotion. And now there's an addiction. And now we're searching for it. We're searching for ways to create it. We're searching for ways to other, for other people to create it. And so we know when we bumped into that, because you know what it feels like. It sucks. It sucks. You wanted a good day. You wanted a nice night. And now look at what happened. And so, so these things, when they show up, it's like it's this huge opportunity. And so what we can do is start to recognize when that happens. It's not, it's not hard to remember to know that happened because you feel it on every level. You're thinking thoughts, you're feeling thoughts, you want to burn bridges, you want to lash out, they're wrong. This has happened before and it's never going to happen again. You know, those feelings, you know when they're there. So this is a habit that we can all develop 
is to notice when that happens. And at least some of the time while we're in it, you can piece process later, but it's really useful when you're right in the mix is to go in and feel it, of course, to piece process it. There's an instant miracle for us. And then here's the next thing you can do. So and we can do this right now together, is to notice that, that there's that feeling, that that thing, and you may or may not have some conscious awareness of the belief, the belief that's in there that's causing this pattern to show up over and over and over again. It could be related to abandonment, betrayal. It could be some way you think about rich people. It could be some way you think about yourself. It could be some sort of belief. And you may or may not have um, conscious awareness, but you probably have some awareness. And so here's the first part. We're going to let go of that belief, and then we're going to install one that's more useful. So you don't have to run this pattern so that automatically a different pattern is running. There's lots of automatic patterns running. And so when you see these things show up that are automatic, you can notice it and then go say, okay, there's the belief. There's something about that. And so here we're going to let go of one and we're going to install another. So what we do first is we let go. So let's all just drop, from, say, take a pebble from your head and just let it drop and it falls into your heart space. Yeah, and just let go. And I'll take us through a bit of a, a, a process and where we're going is the void, the nothing the space. So you can take your attention inside your head to the very center of your head. And just notice the blackness of that space. And then notice the space around your head. And then notice the space around your shoulders. And then drop down into the chest area, the, the heart space area, that space of your rib cage, and just notice the, the darkness, the blackness of space there, the space. And then let go and drop down into that space in your belly, and just notice there's space there, the blackness of space. And then deep into the, the lower part of your pelvis, just drop down into that space and notice the space. And notice the space around your hips. And then drop down to the space between your knees. That's right. And notice the space. And drop down to the space around your feet, below your feet, around your feet, between your feet. And notice the blackness of space. And you can notice the space between your body and the walls of the room in space. That's right. And then can you notice the space that all of space occupies in the infinite of space? And for this next moment, this next moment, we can linger here as long as we like in the void, in the space, in the blackness. Let's do this now. And later you can pause this recording and linger here as long as you like.
Okay. And now let's take that first belief and just notice it. You know, you may have some awareness of what it's about. Just notice it. The universe, spirit, God knows what that is. And you can decide decisions are very key, final decisions, to let that go now. And just let it go back into the void, into the space, just to decide enough is enough. I'm done with that belief. And then drop back into the space, the blackness of space. And then what belief would you like to install? And you can decide right now to install it. And you make a decision to, that is what you believe. It's final, final decision. And then connect it up with the biggest emotion, biggest positive emotion you can muster right now. Absolute biggest positive emotion. Biggest emotion having gotten all of that. And then you can be grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we can let go back to the void, back to the darkness of space. Awesome work, you guys. And so whenever you bump into anything that pushes those buttons, we've got our peace process and we'll do healing with each other, each of us right in just this next few moments, live one-on-one -on -one with us. And if you're watching it later, you can watch it and then just follow along with the prompts. And then throughout the day, and if this is on the holidays when you're watching this later, but throughout the day, whenever these things pop up, these buttons, these things that push our buttons, yeah, we've got a process. We've got two processes, the peace process and this process of taking, of doing what we just did. So here we go. I'm going to turn off the recording so we have that in our atomic portal. And then we're going to get right to one-on-one -on -one healing. Great work, you guys. Let's see how many people we have on. I'll just, it doesn't matter. Here it goes. <laughs> 